It's a really exciting thing when you hear the leaders of this locker room like James Conner, Kyler Murray, and Jonathan Gannon talk about how excited they are about the 2024 season. And now I am seeing a lot of videos out there about the Arizona Cardinals being a potential dark horse candidate for the playoffs or maybe even the Super Bowl. Now I'm not going to go that far, but there's a lot of extreme potential with this Arizona Cardinal organization and trending in the right direction. Let's dive into it. What's going on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content y'all we are in the thick of things here of the off season subscribe it up it's absolutely for free you don't want to miss any news that we drop here pertaining to free agency the draft rumors all that different stuff we're going to be diving into and obviously covering here as my favorite team the arizona cardinals so definitely subscribe it up it's absolutely for free all right everybody let's dive right into it let's talk about the arizona cardinals shall we now i am seeing a lot of videos pop up here on my feed of late and obviously because i'm an arizona cardinal fan the algorithm is doing his job and kind of feeding me arizona cardinal videos pertaining to can the cardinals being a, a potential super bowl champion right a dark course to to make it to the playoffs right the expedition of you know just this rebuild getting expedited you know faster than most cardinal fans think now i'm one of those cardinal fans that are very optimistic about the future and of 2024 as well but honestly i think there is a lot of things that that could potentially get us to that level now obviously me, I I'm as hopeful as they possibly can whenever the 2024 season starts around. I'm going to be talking all craziness, and you guys all probably know that already. But I'm excited about the future, right? I, I extremely, extremely I am. James Conner, Kyler Murray, as well as Jonathan Gannon, just the, the core focal pieces that we have here, they're all singing the same tune heading into the 2024 uh, season, and obviously this offseason. So... There's a lot of excitement. There truly is. Now, the Cardinals right now have upwards of about $50 million to spend um, in this year's free agency uh, class. And then we got, what, 13 picks in the next 2024 NFL draft. And then I think we have like six picks in the top 100. So it, it's going to be crazy. It absolutely is. Now, this is going to be a very, very big pivotal moment for the Arizona Cardinals heading in um, to this offseason to really figure out what exactly do we want to become, right? What is the team that we want to become? What is the eyes and the vision of Monty Alsafor and Jonathan Gannon heading into the 2024 season? And I think we got a lot of pretty good rookies um, in this last draft class, whether you want to talk about, obviously, Paris Johnson Jr., uh, B.J. Ojolari has shown some flashes, Michael Wilson, obviously, he got her, and he, he showed up more in the last part of the couple games, but he's got some moments of brilliance, right, in, in terms of when he was playing with Josh Dobbs. Now, the connection between him and Kyler Murray kind of started off a little bit late, but it gets me really excited about what that connection is going to kind of blossom into um, heading into the 2024 season. Now, obviously, there's a lot of unknowns with D.J. Humphreys, uh, having an extreme injury that is probably going to hold him out to the beginning of the 2024 season. The Hollywood Brown storyline, is he coming back? Uh, so a lot of excitement. But to me, I think it's definitely obviously time to turn over the leaf and, and talk about 2024. Now, the Cardinals can potentially be playoffs or, or maybe even Super Bowl contenders right you never know like that's one of the most beautiful thing about the nfl we see teams like the texans which were projected to be bottom dwellers right and i'm talking about uh, the arizona cardinals type of record right with a four wins three wins two wins type of season they started off with a rookie head coach and a rookie quarterback and they're blossoming into becoming a, a 10 win team and already won their uh, very first playoff you know uh, a game with cj stroud so definitely kudos to them and then you see teams like the detroit lions where they're, they're making steps in the right directions and they won their very first playoff game since like the 1990s so you see a lot of great stuff like that like underdog stories and you like to think of the Arizona Cardinals for you know our time to potentially have, have that moment and I think it is coming a lot faster than most people think now granted yes we did only win four games um last year but people projected us to only have one win two wins and yes I get it four wins isn't that big of a deal but let's be honest we should have won that uh that Seattle Seahawks game and I think most of the fan base and, and most of the locker room knows that Matt Prater didn't miss those last two kicks we definitely could have won but if you really think about it for the future 
having the fourth overall spot here in the NFL draft definitely probably means more because I guess it's an opportunity to potentially get the top wide receiver of the NFL draft. So honestly, thinking of it in hindsight, it's not a big deal, but not just that Seahawks game we should have won. There was plenty other games throughout the entirety of this year that the Cardinals were actually in that game. They probably uh, won or, or lost from like a you know two score game, one score game, that type of stuff. But there's a lot of potential and a lot of promise with this Arizona Cardinal core that we have. Now the 2020 roster compared to the 2024 roster is going to look night and day, right? But I think that the main plan of 2023 was to build a foundation, build a culture, build a belief in Jonathan Gannon. And I think for the most part, most of the core you know, players that are in this locker room believe in Jonathan Gannon, believe in the vision, and that's exactly what was accomplished in this last year uh, for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, we can potentially become that dark horse, right, for playoffs, right? And I know some people out there saying playoff or bust. I'm kind of in that same situation, too, where I feel like the Arizona Cardinals can be expedited to be be a four-win team to potentially being a playoff team. We just need to get some solid pieces on this roster, whether it's a wide receiver, number two, um, pieces to help that, you know, the, that defense in general. But the trenches is also a very important thing on both sides, the defense and the offensive side of the ball as well. So a, a lot of lot of extreme things that can happen in this offseason. And the most wonderful thing that we have going for us is that we got the money and the draft capital. So this team is going to look night and day different. And for the people out there that are saying that the Arizona Cardinals can be future champs. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're an Arizona Cardinal fan, that's exactly what you're hoping for, right? That's the promise. Every single time the calendar year turns around, there's always hope that the Cardinals can potentially be the Texans of this year, the, the Lions of this year. Now, obviously, the Lions took steps to get to the level where they're at and the Texans just somehow kind of uh, sprouted out of nowhere, but that's exactly what we're looking for, right? As Cardinal fans, that right there is a storyline that we need to follow. So the blueprint might be there, right? The Detroit Lions might have the blueprint here for the Arizona Cardinals in the 2024 season, but I think we can actually expedite this because we got a franchise quarterback in Kyler Murray. He took the, 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 the proper steps. Uh, JG fully believes in him. James Conner, which is a big focal piece in the locker room. And when we win, you, you you know we were winning here with James Carter. He makes it very, very apparent that everybody needs to celebrate these small wins. So definitely huge, huge culture shock and change within the Arizona Cardinals organization. I'm very excited about the 2024 season, and I feel like you guys should be too. Let me know here what your guys' thoughts are and what you feel like the Arizona Cardinals need to do to fix us heading into the 2024 season. Let me know here in the comments below. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day, and go Cards!